Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first season of Hanze Talk Show. Woo! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. <laughs> My name is Laura Ragazzi, and I'm going to be the host for today. So um, we've prepared a lot of few things for you guys. We have, we're going to have interviews with teachers. They're going to tell us a little bit more about how it is to work at Hanze and how is their experience. Then we're going to have interviews with students so they can tell us how it is to study at Hanze and how is Hanze um, embracing their inner talent. And finally, we're going to play a game called Never Have I Ever. Are you excited or what? <laughs> before, before we move on, though, I would like to remember our online audience that you have a number now on your screen. Well, you can send any questions and doubt you have on this WhatsApp chat live, and we're going to make sure that most of these questions are answered by our guest real life. So just ask us whenever you want, whatever you want, and we're going to make sure we're going to answer. So, without further ado, let's invite our first three guests, Mark, Nancy, and Chris. Woo! Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. So, how wow. are we doing today? Great. Good Super. to be here. Are you guys excited? We are Definitely. Actually, yeah. yeah. Nervous? No. No. No? I'm the only one that is about to pass out today? <laughs> Probably. Okay, that's nice to know. So I would like to ask you a couple of qu questions, guys, about you working at Hanze mm -hmm. and how is your experience. And I would like to start with Mark. Are you scared? A little bit. You should be. It's, it's good to be a little you bit scared. <laughs> so my first question for you yeah. is, uh, which are the nice sides of being a lecturer at Hanze? First of all, I forgot to say, I'm sorry, guys. This is my first time. So can you please introduce yourself and... Tell us what you, what you do and what's your position here, et cetera, before we start with the question. So, Mark, you can start. Hi, I'm a senior lecturer here at the Hanze University, and my areas of uh, expertise, such as they are, is uh, marketing, organizational development, and helping students in their final research project. Nice. Nancy? My name is Nancy Huttega, and I'm the program manager of the Interdisciplinary Business Professional Master Program, and we just started this year with our students. We're going to hear about that. And Chris? My name is Chris de Meer and I'm a senior lecturer at the Institute of Communication, Media and IT. And in that, I actually teach in the bachelor program and in the master program. And my expertise is more marketing communication. Nice. A big applause for them, guys. Come on. <laughs> so, Mark, <laughs> yes. I repeat the question for you. Please. What are the nice sides of being a lecturer at Hanze? Uh, it's students. It's, it's really quite simple. Uh, it's, it's what we do here, uh, and it's what I enjoy the most. Uh, getting into the classroom, uh, meeting the students, getting to know them a little bit better, um, and then exchanging ideas. So I'm very fortunate that getting up in the morning and knowing that I have lectures or coach meetings with students is really what motivates me to come in uh, and to enjoy myself and to enjoy working with students. That's amazing. Um, talking about students and internships, so yep. um, from your experience, how does internship change a student? Um, in, in countless ways. Uh, most of our students end up going on internship when they're about 20 years old or so, a little bit older, a little bit younger. Uh, teachers talk about the, the maturity that, that happens, the, the personal development over that either six months or, or one year abroad. So we see a tremendous change uh, in the students in terms of, of having an opportunity to apply uh, what we've exposed them to or what they've been exposed to at the university. Um, I think it's one of the, um, the things that distinguishes universities of applied sciences, of that internship. Yeah, absolutely. And one last question for you is, uh, which is the greatest lesson you've learned from your students? Um, every day. Uh, just coming in, as I said, uh, speaking with them, um, a couple of things uh, that they, well, I'm always reminded when I walk into the learning environment, I am not the smartest person in the room. <laughs> that's and, nice. And that's great. Yeah. That's, that's actually that's great. So I've run into students and are still in, in contact with students over 20 years. So both for my own personal development, uh, exposing me to different ideas, different ways of solving problems and then hopefully staying in contact with them afterwards, seeing how they develop professionally 
is very rewarding for me. That's amazing. Can we have an applause here, guys? It's amazing. Nancy, and you're the second one. Are you ready for this? Yeah, bring <laughs> it on. So I'm reading here that you have developed an innovative interdisciplinary business master program. That's right. Why? Tell us more about it. Well, the first reason is that as uh, Hansa University, we want to offer students a direct entry master. And um, so this is a direct uh, uh, entry master for bachelor students who just graduated. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, secondly, because um, um, the program is innovative because of the uh, community of learners we uh, have incorporated, and this is an environment where students, uh, including the professional field, our professors and lecturers, cooperate on real-life cases. So yeah. that you know connects beautifully also with what Marx uh, yeah. says. Um, and um, yeah, so students um, they are really you know interacting uh, uh, with e with each other, and they are um, um, actually working uh, um, towards. Uh, complex problems uh, on behalf of uh, uh, the industry. That's very nice. And uh, still talking about this, like, what do you think is the added value of a master for businesses, mm -hmm. like uh, compared to uh, the bachelor education? Mm -hmm. Well, um, when we develop this program, we obviously also uh, involved uh, the professional field, and. Um, it's basically a lot uh, about uh, skills. Yeah. Um, nowadays, businesses, they deal with of more course. and more complex problems. And uh, the interdisciplinarity of it, you know, uh, being able to look at it in, uh, from different perspectives, being able to cooperate with different uh, uh, people with different backgrounds, that is really an asset. So within this program, um, you learn to look at problems from different angles and you develop your analytical uh, uh, skills and we do that by uh, conducting applied uh, research. That's amazing. <laughs> and um, what should a prospective master student expect? What do you think? From the master yes. program. Well, it's a one-year program, mm -hmm. uh, so it's intense. Um, why, why are you saying it's intense? Because it's very uh, pushed up in one year, like you're going to do a lot of stuff in one year, this is why? Definitely, because in one year students take uh, commands and they graduate, so your master one thesis, year. yeah, the master Which thesis are like nine months basically, like, or yeah, actually one year. Yeah, from September until uh, July okay. when the summer okay. holiday starts. Mm -hmm. So students, they have, ba have, have basically uh, one semester to prepare themselves uh, for the master thesis, the big project, mm -hmm. and uh, actually the students uh, uh, right now, they uh, are getting there, so uh, that's the intensity uh, uh, which it is. And also because of the applied research, because we really, it's an MSc, yeah. and, uh, and um, uh, for that, like I said, uh, um, applied research is central. Um, and for usually for, I mean, for the bachelor students, you know, they need to step up and that's, that's, that's quite intense. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good experience though. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So thank you, Nancy. And let's move on with Chris. Um, my first question for you is, okay, so we know that you uh, professionally have had other experiences in other institutions. Mm -hmm. um, how is Hansa different for you? Yeah, I worked for other universities as well, and uh, Hans is different for me uh, because I think uh, it really emphasizes the international aspect. We we have a, a large community of international of students, course. which is very um, for me. This is very rewarding because I, I I've really noticed in my in my teaching and in my coaching people that that this this intercultural element when people from different uh, backgrounds and different nationalities actually come together and work on projects together. This is really very interesting. This adds to the, to the learning experience. So this is what for you, Hansi? Yeah. And also I think, because I've also worked for other universities where maybe there's a bit more distance between teachers and, and, and students. And here I, I would say that, uh, that it's very easy. Teachers are very approachable. Yeah. Uh, students experience this, I think. Yeah. And this also gives them uh, like confidence that it's, that it's also okay to fail because learning is also about failing first and then actually improving. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a very, uh, very wonderful university to work for, actually. Yeah, nice environment, international. It's perfect. Very yes. nice to hear. And so we know that uh, you're an academic advisor slash mm -hmm. coach. Yeah. Um, how does this service of Hanze contribute to the study of an abroad student? Of a well, I can imagine because I was in the shoes of my students uh, uh, once because I also studied abroad when I was. Uh, Where did you uh, study? I studied in Wales actually. Oh in wow. Cardiff, yeah. 
So I was uh, I was abroad myself, and I know that if you uh, at a young age actually go abroad and leave your family and everything behind to 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 yeah, to study in a in a foreign country, can be uh, it can be difficult because you have to adapt and maybe you are you are you, you yeah you encounter problems that you usually would go to your family for when you yeah. would have stayed home. And in that respect, I think academic counseling, you, you could consider an academic counselor actually as, well, your best friend in, in the teaching staff who, who, act, who also can have conversations to you about this as well. So, so he can help you, uh, he or she can help you find uh, solutions for problems you might encounter yeah. during your studies or actually also during just being abroad and settling in Groningen and, and, yeah. and, 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 and living here. And, so that's basically, I think, um, also a survey shows that, that this is really a very uh, appreciated yeah, part, of the, uh, part of the service uh, Hansa provides. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of that. And so could you share with us uh, an interesting intercultural episode moment? Ah, okay. Um, yes, Hopefully a good one, not a dramatic one. No, not a dramatic one. But uh, what, what was really eye-opener for me is because in our uh, education we have several projects where people have to work in a group to actually solve a problem and, and come up with a solution. Um, and th sometimes you encounter that uh, people from various backgrounds have very different ideas about uh, working together in terms that, uh, so I had a case once where, where a student, I, I cannot reveal the country he is from because that might actually also reveal the student. Okay, let's not reveal um, identity uh, here. Uh, 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 but where he, he had very, um, um, yeah, has very specific ideas about the role, about gender, and so about okay. where, who should be in the lead in the team. Mm -hmm. And in his opinion, it should be his, his, yeah, his, his way or no way. His way of? or no way, because uh, the, the rest were uh, female students, and he thought, okay, in my culture, it's very strange that actually women take the lead. So we had, we had some interesting conversations about that. And in the end, it played out really fine, yeah. because, because also it, for him, it was a learning experience that yeah. actually that's not how things are done here. So. And this is this adds up to, um, I think, to the ex to the learning experience. Or yeah, involved. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would like to ask if we have more time for questions. Or okay, then um, I have actually a last question for all. Don't look at me like that, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. What advice would you give to prospective students? We can whoever want to start. It's a question okay, for all. So. Okay. I, my advice would be to study the field you want to study. So um, if, you're, if, if your passion or interest is really communication or marketing or a nursery or whatever, choose the field you want to study because I, th I think all of you need, you need like intrinsic interest in a specific field to yeah. actually make the study interesting and rewarding for you. Yeah. Orientate, so do your research and... Um, yeah, talk to the programs and talk to the people, you know, responsible or lecturers whatsoever um, to really make a decision, you know, which, which suits you, which feels good. Yeah. And Mark? Yeah, I, I you know, these are great answers uh, uh, from my colleagues who are much more learned than I am. So I like to reduce it to something that's simple because then it's easier for me to remember. And here it is. Be cool and stay in school. I love it. Applause! <laughs> Before you guys go, I would like to check with Vlad if we have some uh, questions from our online audience. Do we, Vlad? Am I live? Yes, yes you're live. live. Hey, mom. <laughs> um, so yes, we did indeed get a few questions from the audience. So um, they're actually addressed to our guests specifically. So let's start with sure. Mark, none other than Mark. Wow. Um, Thanks, guys. Glad. <laughs> Is it a coincidence that you look like one of TEDx Groningen speakers? Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Complete coincidence. <laughs> Bastard! Uh, no, um, I have, uh, over the past couple of years, been master of ceremonies of uh, TEDx. That's where Laura and I first uh, met. Uh, first met. And he so didn't remember me at all? Yes. So, so, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, so thanks for that question, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, another one to Nancy this time. Um, I've read your brochure, I presume that's about the program, mm -hmm. and I was wondering what does the word wicked mean for you? Ah, that's a, that's a good question actually. Wicked, we translate it as uh, complex problems or, you know, issues where company, which companies uh, are facing. And these um, issues you cannot solve or you cannot find the right answers if you just approach them from one discipline. 
So this is basically the core also of the program, where we, from different perspectives, you know, come to better uh, solutions. Yeah, nice. I, th I think this is exactly the answer the person was looking for. Nice. And last one is to Chris, uh, from one of your students. Um, <laughs> Chris, when we say 22 million, what number? What, what does that number lead Sorry? you to thinking? Sorry? 22 million. 22 million. What does that make you think? What does that number make you think of? 22 million? Think about it. I don't know. I have an answer. I have no clue, actually. I Give your best <laughs> educated guess. <laughs> 22 million. <laughs> No, I don't. No, it doesn't well, tell you anything? Um, this is the number of bikes in the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 I knew that. Okay. How many <laughs> do you have? <laughs> the only foreigner so sorry, knew so that answer. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> Since it's actually more than the number of inhabitants in the Netherlands, um, yeah, it is. the, the it person is. would like to ask, how many do you have? I actually have two bikes. Okay. Oh, see? How many stolen? Bikes. No, because I live in a small village close to Groningen, <laughs> and people don't steal there. So that's <laughs> Guys, <laughs> they are watching online. The struggle is real. Bikes <laughs> get stolen here. Invest and more in the lock of your bike than actually in the exactly. bike. Exactly. Really <laughs> and none stolen that's by you? No? No, 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 no. no, no, very, no, good, no very good. Very good. Um, I think that's it for now. Yeah. That's it. Thank you so much, Vlad. Thanks. And thank you all for okay. being here today, for You're giving welcome. us questions. A big applause, hello. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Answers and yeah, I would like to welcome my other couple of guests okay. <laughs> on the stage. Their name are Kevin and Kay. Big applause, please! Yay! What's up, guys? Hi. So nervous? Not really. Are you Not at all. Chill. <laughs> Chill. I do this all the time. Yeah, all the time. Where? Yeah, yeah. What? Where? No, on myself, on my phone. Okay. <laughs> Live on Instagram. Yeah. Well, 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 first of all, can you please, guys, introduce yourself? Tell us who you are, what's your name, what do you do, what do you study, what do you had for dinner last night? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. that's a lot I'm just kidding. Come on, <laughs> just introduce. Are you first? Okay, um, I'm Kay, and I'm originally from Indonesia. Uh, I study international business here at Hansa, and I'm a first year student. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Kevin? Hello, my name is Kevin Roy. I'm from the Caribbean, especially from Aruba. Or Aruba. Hello, Aruba! <laughs> From the Caribbean island, um, I studied um, gra um, graphic design illustration, and I uh, just recently graduated. Yeah? Oh my god, how does that feel? It, uh, yeah, it's just up and down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in the real adult world. Right I'm now. a real adult, though. Like, you know, when you're like a little kid, you always, you know, you never worry about anything. And, and then now? now it, yeah, and then I have to start worrying about it. It's time. Yeah. <laughs> so then let's start with you, Kevin, with the first question. Okay, cool. Uh, where do you get your inspiration for your design projects? Oh. It's a big one. It's a lot. It's a lot. Ah. Uh, how can I simplify? Do I have to simplify it? You, ju you just open your heart. Open my heart? To okay, cool. Yes. I'll try. <laughs> I had a lot of breaking, broken hearts. You know, okay, I get it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I kid a lot. Um, we going like back that. Going back to the, the question. Ah, uh, how can I explain this uh, thing? I think... Mm. Where do you usually get inspirations in general? From what? I mean, from norm who? normally any kind of you know graphic designer could show you that you know you get it from you know from internet or you get it from you know Instagram or things like that. But if I'm going really to the core, mm -hmm. where I actually get most of my inspirations are from my friends. All my wow, that's nice. Yeah, my friends. Um, sometimes that's why I love when my friends um, we go out together. It could be graphic or not graphic or creative, non-creative. We just you know we talk together. We just um, do something together. It could be we can party or we can be going to like a museum or something, you know, just getting the mind off track because sometimes, you know, when you, you know, I think you guys also had this, like when you're in the toilet and you're just, you know, <laughs> doing your stuff. <laughs> and then afterwards, you know, you have your exams, you know, you don't know the question, you don't know the answer, right? And then you have your aha moment, right? Yeah, aha I mean, moment. Don't tell me, you guys don't tell me. You guys never aha had moment, that. right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the same as me. So, that's why I say when I, you know, my party and when I act around with my friends, because that's the time that I, I just shut off and then I don't think about anything. And then that's, that's where you get the most inspiration. So that's why I like to travel a lot. I mean, um, Larry, you know how much I travel yes, in the I know how much constantly. You travel, yeah. And I, and I get most of my inspiration also from yeah, my Ruben people, of course, but sometimes with my family, my crazy family. So from a lot of things, we can say. From life in general. Yeah, from life in general, though. Nice. Yeah. 
Second question for you. What does, well, you said you graduated from Minerva, right? Yeah. So what does uh, the Minerva community feel like? Oh, my God. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a funny simplify story. Simplify for us a little bit. <laughs> okay, simplify and then gratify. Um, Minerva kind of game actually became my, my new, how can I explain this without being emotional? Ah, uh, that is so. This is how Minerva, uh, com, uh, Minerva yeah. community feel like. Just I mean, emotional moments happening. Here. I mean, it, it, it don't felt, cry. Don't no, cry. You want I'm some water? Crying. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm a big boy. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah you okay. are. No, but um, I feel like Minerva kind of became into my new family. Um, I think everybody can um, understand when you're coming from the from the from the Caribbean, like a small island, and then you come to the Netherlands, it's like, yeah, of course. it's a lot. Like any international people, you guys also had it, it's a lot. Yeah. And then, and, and if, yeah, if I'm being honest, I was very shy. Yeah. I, I, I was very antisocial. I barely talked to girls. I was afraid of girls in, in my, <laughs> before I came to the Netherlands. I'm being honest right now. And then um, I kind of felt like uh, Minerva kind of, I didn't know what I was getting into. I have no idea. Yeah. So it kind of helped me to become more social and more involved. Now I talk to girls, so there's no problem Oh, there. that's good to know. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, exactly. I'm talking to you right now. So okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, but it, it kind of opened me up and then be more social. Yeah, more openness or social. Yeah, it's a funny, it's a funny story. Like uh, when I started going to Minerva, I got so inspired. Like I started, you know, adding everyone on Facebook that was on Minerva. It was kind of funny because when I go to school, People are like, hey, you're Kevin, right? Yeah, I'm on Kevin. How do you know that? So you, you felt integrated right away, basically. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, so yeah, nice. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they kind of got annoyed why I was adding them on Facebook because I think anybody can get annoyed. <laughs> I mean, you don't know this person and you just added you on Facebook. You're like, who are you? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, but overall, you felt like welcome in a community of Minerva. Yeah, exactly. And still, about that, um, you have personal coaches in Minerva. Mm -hmm. How does that help you in terms of personal development mm, i would have if i have to, like a personal one i have like um but he doesn't he doesn't teach anymore mm -hmm. i had like this very very respectable i don't i don't want to say anything bad so i'm going to say everything good about him then i'm going to say everything bad about him. um <laughs> not in, in <laughs> only a, positive vibes here okay only positive on this show <laughs> He was, he was, uh, he was Polish. He was, um, he was illustration. He was the most hardest teacher in Minerva ever. And I love, I really love him for that because he was very strict with me. And he was like, kind of like your coach or? Yeah, he was kind of like a coach for mm -hmm. me because he was, I mean, he, I can make like this design for him. And he would automatically know that I only took like two hours with it. And he would, he would say like, yeah, this is shit or thing, you know, things like, sorry. Um, he would say like, this is bad or, so sorry for my language. Person, it's okay. We're um, alive. We're humans. We're here. A big applause. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. He would say the S word a lot to me. Like it was like a motivation for me because he kind of gave me feedback about um, how you can be criticized sometimes for your work, you know, in the real world. It's also important yeah, exactly. to receive criticism. To, yeah. to stand up for yourself. Yeah. And then that, because even though I was saying I wasn't shy, but he was like the one preparing me for, you know, what's to come after Minerva, you know, like to be stand on your two, two feet. Yeah. To be, to be stand by your work. And if you're being criti criti criticized mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to you know, be own up to it. Like, you can be criticized, you can take it in, you know, positive and yeah. in, in a positive way. Just so this really helped you with your personal development. Yeah, exactly. I clearly can see. And now, till now, it still helps me. Even nice. Though so, you, so you kept contact and... I don't have that much contact anymore. Okay, but it still helps. Oh, so, okay, so what you learned from him still helps you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Kevin. Yeah, no problem. I would like to start okay, talking. Okay. Hi. <laughs> So, first question for you, Kay. Um, did you join the activities in the introduction week? I did, yeah. Okay, and how was that? Um, introduction week for international students especially because I'm not, I'm non-EU student, so I joined like the ESN introduction week. It's like... So, you f how that made you feel, being non-EU, even more yeah. shy? Or? No, I had my face like back then, three years ago. Like, okay being shy of being you know not you but like now i feel like it's about getting to know the city and like the students because i think um Kroningen is such a really student-oriented city yeah. and i'm really proud to be like 
to be here yes. in Groningen. Yes. And um, the Introduction Week itself, um, it's a really recommended um, event for international students, especially the non-EU students, to join because yes. it's really great. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm reading here that you're also part of the Indonesian community. Yeah, I yeah. am. So what kind of activities you guys have there? That's a Can lot. Can you explain us a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so like that. we have this weekly um, event mm-hmm. at Aklo. Weekly? Yeah, weekly wow. event, like sports. But, um, well, I don't, I don't do sports, so I don't really <laughs> join that one. Just a disclaimer, guys. Yeah, um, yeah, but we do have that like every Sunday. Just, okay. yeah. And then we also have um, annual events. Mm-hmm. So, Again, sports. But, but all then, this with the uh, Indonesian community. Yeah, but okay. then... Mostly. Mostly. Or is it also open to... Open to, like, anyone. everybody. But mm-hmm. then um, the one who organized the event itself, like, in the Indonesian people. Okay. And then, yeah, um, we have the upcoming events in Yes, the Indonesian March. Day. Yeah, the right? Indonesian Day. Please tell us everything about it. Yeah, well, I'm also the coordinator, one of the main coordinator um, in the Indonesian Day. And it's on March... So basically, it's about getting to know our culture more and then like try our food. I have to say, we have the best I'm one. In. Yeah. I'm down for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Please. Yeah, <laughs> you should come. And um, also, we'll show you guys about um, the dance, the traditional dance. Oh, wow. Yeah, the traditional dance. And then actually a lot of things that we're going to do during the Indonesian day. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. guys, you all heard Indonesian day coming up. We're all going. You going. should. Yeah, yeah. you should. Uh, okay. Do we have time for more questions? A couple of more questions. Why are you scared, Kevin? Hello. I'm not scared. You're you look scared. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I'm not sure about you, Kevin, because uh, do you you already knew English language before you came? Like both of you. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean fluently because yeah. I'm from Italy. I didn't know, know English until the age of 19, basically. So <laughs> it's actually a valuable question here. Yeah, you can, you can ask a question so, if you want. Okay. okay. <laughs> but so um, was it difficult to get used to the English language for you? I mean studying um, every day, giving exams, you know? Um, well, I went to... Inter- to an international school, so oh it's yeah, so like, you're <laughs> yeah, it's not hard for. But I would say the first time I went to an international school, it's a struggle. Yeah, mm-hmm. the first six months. It yeah. is. Tell me about it. Yeah, and, and you, Kevin? Yeah. Uh, me, I, I mean, I mean, the, I learned English from from TV. Mostly, I just watch cartoons all the time. So you were already <laughs> fluent when you came. Yeah, um, yeah. My mom used to, you know, gave me some, um, you know, some screams about Kevin, you're too much on the television. But I Mom, it's for English, yeah, right? Yeah, from English. I tried to tell her, but okay. um, but it was uh, it was very easy. Um, I think where I'm, where we're from, I didn't have the problem with you. Like uh, our problem, I did have a problem with English because it turns out that my English is very American, mm-hmm. and then I can imagine from Caribbean, you have yeah. American influence. Yeah, yeah, but this is the difference. There we have also Bush English. That's very what uh, is Bush English? That's really sweet English. That's yeah, really sweet is it English. thing from Caribbean? Yeah, it's can it's you kinda... tell us a little bit more? I'm curious now. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> is it possible? First of all, look at me. Give us an example. Is, can we say this live streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin. Um, yeah, yeah. You see, you can say that. Okay, let me just say like um, just briefly. I, what what I, is I, Bush English? I'm trying to not sound like a girl right now, so in, in a way, but it sounds like um. um they does be doing this, doing that. We does be going to the beach. Bush English, everyone. <laughs> what you doing there, man? What you doing? Okay, we got the point. <laughs> we learned something. Amazing. I mean, I remember this one time this girl actually um, did an English scripture while saying this Bush English. She got a, she got a, she got the, the, the minus grade ever. Like, oh, okay. Okay, of course you can't use that on school, I no, guess. No, I mean, she would say, like, you have to say what you're going to be, what you did this morning. She just say, like, um, um, they, I just be going, get cereal. I just <laughs> be doing this and doing that. Oh, wow. Would, okay. No. Uh, Vlad, do we have some questions yeah, from the online one. audience? I'm not sure. Yeah, we do. We, we do? actually have a couple. Perfect. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so the first and really interesting one that I can actually answer is uh, whether there are any tips for a new applicant when it comes to preparing the paperwork. So um, the main tip, I guess, would be to carefully follow the instructions from the program of your interest on the website. You can find the detailed list of requirements on on our Hansa website. Um, We also have an interactive video, sort of an explanation, um, divided for EU and non-EU students, so you can follow the instructions. It really walks you through step by step, very handy. 
but maybe one extra tip that I could give you is to um, just prepare the translations of such documents as uh, your birth certificate and your high school grade list. So that would be the tip from my own experience. Um, we also have um, two more. Question for the guests? Maybe? Yes, to the guests. Um, to Key, actually. Um, how long was your trip from Indonesia to the Netherlands? Oh. Um, <laughs> well, I never take a direct flight. I always do transit. So yeah. it's about 20 to 22 hours. Damn. Yeah. Oh my, I know. Quite a journey, a yeah. lot to think about, I presume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one last one to Kevin, some oh, of wow. your followers, Popular. I suppose. Um, quote, I heard that you're giving workshops. Uh, how can I sign up? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. You're giving <laughs> workshops? Don't be shy. Uh, what um, does she say? Which kind of workshop in my Pacific? Is she I mean, how many workshops do you give? It is not specified. <laughs> Just do the type of mentor, I guess. Yeah, I, um, I I tell myself I'm a graphic designer, but I have something for typography and calligraphy. So I give um, um, workshops in calligraphy. But also, I started now doing um, custom toe bags. You know, everybody likes toe bags. I mean, every everybody can agree here. You like toe bags, right? And you and what's more creative in making your own toe bag? You know, having your country on it. You know, painting your things, and that's a workshop I also do. There's one coming up from. I'm working now with um, City Center about that. So there's one coming up. Um, just tell them to follow me on Instagram, and then. What's your nickname? Um, my nickname on Instagram would be um, Kev uh, PJ, P, PJ, like uh, peanut butter and jelly. So, um, but of Kev course, that's Kevin's nickname <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> but, <laughs> So yeah, follow me on that, and then I'll be sure to let you know. But I will, Great. I will put on my Instagram, put on Facebook. You will know about. Thank it. you, thank you so Thanks much, so guys, thank for you. being here, for answering the question. <laughs> and thank you. I would like to invite our two, our, our next couple of guests. Um, what can I say? The woman that's about to walk up the stage, uh, she's very talented, and. Voices buzzing around Hanze, they say that she has a voice of an angel. And uh, what can I say about him? He's an actual elected president. Please, everybody, welcome Lawrence and Sabrina! Hi. Hi, nice to meet hey. you. Hi, guys. So, how are we doing today? Fine. Yeah? yeah. Can you please tell everybody why am I, am I saying that you're an elected president? Because yeah. I'm not sure everybody knows. Well, my first guess would be because <laughs> I'm chairman of IBSU, probably. Yeah, uh, we can see from your shirts. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? IBS Union. Yeah. So you're the president. That's can you tell correct. us a little bit more about what's IBS? Well, um, I can uh, now say a standard sentence of we want to add extra value to our students. <laughs> Um, no, actually we do, yes, um, and we do it through different events. First mm -hmm. of all, we help the students, for example, by organizing book sales or whatever. But um, for the new students, for example, one very nice event, and the first event would be the introduction week mm -hmm. we organize every year. And Which kind of event exactly? Like, what do you do? What, what are the activities you do? Um, for example, for this year, which is starting tomorrow exactly, we're going to start with a little uh, pre-drinks and then going out and going partying, stuff like this. Uh, the day after, we are going to have a pub crawl and... Yeah, we have city tours yeah. and bowling But events. listen, I heard about a ski trip that oh, I yeah. was not invited. Hello? Oh, there should be a mistake. What's a ski trip? <laughs> Let me know. Tell <laughs> us. <laughs> well, a ski trip is very nice. Um, we go to Davos every year, Switzerland. Ooh. So it's like one of the best places to go skiing, actually. Um, so with all the Hansa students, whoever want to sign up. Yeah. But it doesn't could, matter what you're studying, right? Yeah, it's but you, everybody could, you could also invite your friends, for example, so, who are not like studying at That's Hansa. very interesting. That's good to know. So, so you can invite your best friend going skiing. Yeah. And at the night we have some parties or whatever. Yeah, but definitely you're going to have... getting up early and going <laughs> skiing again. So that's a bit difficult. Probably. But isn't it an upcoming trip? Like it when is. is usually happening the ski trip? Um, it's happening this year. Oh gosh, the date. Uh, 15th of February okay. to the 22nd. 
But it's every year around February. Yeah, it's okay. during the uh, break we have now. Okay, good. And you can still sign up. So if you want to, you can join. <laughs> well, first of all, I have to learn how to ski. So that's the thing. That's no problem. Oh, I didn't really? Know, <laughs> I didn't know either at the beginning. Well, then sign me up. I'll be there. <laughs> Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Another question for you. Um, yeah, it's definitely regarding your job position at yeah. IBS. Can you combine this with your studies? <laughs> and like, is it a struggle? Is it not a struggle? Like mm. how it is? Just tell us your experience about this. Um, to be fair, I'm not a chair since a long time. I'm actually since like two months, probably. Okay. Um, but still, yeah, you're it's, here with us, so tell us. Yeah, it is, um, especially during exams. It's it might be challenging, yeah? Yeah, because yeah. Um, we had to take care of the introduction week, which is starting, as I said, tomorrow, and we had exams this week and yeah. last week. The exam session was just yeah. over, right? Or um, some students on? did have okay. exams. Uh, so we had to take care of the introduction week um, and, of course, the skiing trip so that all the students are coming and we're not standing there like we're just... 10 people. Um, yeah, so that was a bit difficult because we already booked all the places yeah. and we need to fill them with so that we don't need to pay them by ourselves. Yeah, but overall, are you able to managing this? Yes, yeah. Very Sometimes nice. stressful yeah. because you need to motivate all the people. Uh, but in general, it's definitely doable. Very nice. Thank you, Lawrence. No problem. Dear, my dear, Sabrina, hey. can you please introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, what you do? Uh, hi, I'm Sabrina. Um, I'm from Romania. I'm a third year student at marketing management. I love my study. Uh, and I'm also singing and I'm doing other stuff that I enjoy. Okay, so let me stop you right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I received a picture this oh, morning oh okay and i would like you to explain me a little bit what's going on in this it's picture it's a nice picture with me it's an amazing picture okay okay so i have this oh, okay <laughs> so can you please explain actually i have two pictures should we show also the other one both uh, amazing that's so, so nice so you're you. either a rock star or i don't know <laughs> so tell me more about this okay so both of the pictures uh are uh, taking place to two years ago from a esn music night okay uh so this is and actually Kay just mentioned this organization mm -hmm. for students and i also take part with the music uh, session night that means that for two months or three months we are preparing with uh, lots of international students and we are singing uh, in simplon very very nice spot in Groningen, uh, especially for singing and live sessions and I did sing quite rockish stuff. Yeah, she, <laughs> she looked like she was having the time of her life, right? Uh, I, 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 love to, I love to sing indeed, and you can yeah. see through these pictures. I, can I didn't imagine that you actually <laughs> Listen, that. I have my sources, so <laughs> mm, I can see, yeah. Um, so, okay, I, we all understood by now that singing is a very, it's a big part of you. Yes, And of how, course. like, Hanze is helping you develop your, this talent? Actually, quite a lot because yeah? you, um, you know that coming here it was, of course, you know, challenging and everything. Uh, and I didn't want to give up music because music is part of my life and it, it's going to be part of my since life since when you were like a child or something. Since, it's like a very uh, big since part I of was life. like four, I was singing, going to festivals, international festivals, and so on. And coming here and studying, you know, in marketing management, which is business related. Uh, it was challenging to change the field, but of course. here, here actually, I could do both. I could actually um, do this kind of stuff, music and studying. And Hanze helped me, for instance, during the welcome day um, a few months ago. I was singing. We uh, all remember <laughs> that here at Hanze, I'm loving this. Do you remember <laughs> this or what? But. Also, I was singing um, a few months ago with a student from Prince Klaus for a campaign, uh, and we just jamming through the cafeteria, so yeah. all the institutions like uh, physiotherapy. So you sing a lot here, Hanze, basically. Actually, I do. <laughs> but guess what? You're going to sing for us today as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Big, big surprise for them and for you especially. Okay. Can you please sing something for us? Just 
just sing for us. You know, actually, you gave me quite a good idea because during the welcome day, it was such a nice, it was such a nice atmosphere with the We Are Family song. Because yeah. Hansi become my family. Uh, you know, they they go to my, they come to my concerts. The the colleagues that I'm uh, that I was working during my. But how did Hansi family start exactly? Actually, Hansi family start during um, uh, during the first year with Chris De Mer. Mm. It was my coach, and it was like my father. It was helping me. Ah, everything so sweet. and after that I grew up and um, I, you know working for Hanze international student team and I had all this marketing and communication department who support me and who give me an, an internship and they become literally my, my family and all the time I'm saying that they uh, they helped me quite a lot uh, during the you know during the learning and uh, during this process you know to grow up yeah. And they go to my concert, all the colleagues supporting you. Know, supporting this is me. amazing. And if I can add something, because, okay, I'm a host right now, but I'm a student at Hansa still. And I would like to add something to what you said that is true. Sometimes Hansa can really be, feel like a family because sure. what does the family do to you is pushes you to do more and to develop yourself and to give all you have. And if you show this at Hansa, you can be a host of a talk show. You can be the professional singer. You can be True. you can be a lot of things. You can be the social media coordinator, which is now recording us. Uh, you can be everything. So yeah, they give you a chance. Exactly. Uh, they just exactly they just give you a chance to the, to discover yourself. And yeah, also, they support I would say. you, and they give you the freedom to expose your ideas. Also, this talk show was made by you know by uh, by students. Yeah, and, and, and a student had this idea, and they gave her the room to develop this idea, and then they got us involved with this. And we are all students in this project. So, that's the family cool, is real. Huh? <laughs> Hansa <laughs> family is real. Can you please sing something for us? Yes. Hello. Okay. Okay. So, um, as I just said, that during the welcome day, I was singing "We Are Family" yes. song, and but I also need your help to clap. Oh wow! Right. We're here. Okay. So we are family. Oh yeah. I got all my sisters with me. Yeah. We are family. No, no, no. Oh, oh. I got all my sisters with me. Yeah. We are family. Oh. I got all my sisters with me. Yeah. We are family. Yeah. I got all my sisters with me. Woo! I love it. Oh, thank you I'm very sure much. everybody loved it. Do we have time for more questions or should we start with a little surprise we have for everybody? Little surprise. So it is my pleasure, guys, to invite on the stage a member of the executive board of Hansen University. Everybody, please welcome Rob Ferhosta. <laughs> Hi Rob, Hi. thank you for being here today. Uh, I was blush still blushing from what I heard. About <laughs> Hanze? Yeah. Well, yeah. let me tell you, nobody paid us to say that, so <laughs> it's a really from the heart. Okay, well, thank you very much. I have a microphone for you. Is it working? I'm uh, not sure. Is it, is it working? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Still working? Yeah. Okay. Of course, I have a couple of questions for you too. Not the, the difficult ones, right? <laughs> They're so difficult. <laughs> okay, okay, and Get, bring you're going to receive a grade from okay. this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good at that. Yeah, so okay, I'm yeah. a very strict teacher. I so know, you look like a very strict one. Exactly. Like that, yeah. So first question for you. Um, well, of course, disregard your position. Uh, you have a very important position here, Hanze. But can you tell us what's your favorite part? of your job? What's the best part of being the executive member? Well, one of the, the, the favorite things is also going to happen tomorrow again. Uh, yeah? Then we're going to have uh, the welcoming day. Of so course. Twice a year we have the welcoming day and then thousands of students, if you count them all together, they, they come at Hanze. And I also think that you will be there. Doing yeah, a speech. yeah, I will be there. And I will sing. And you will <laughs> sing. <laughs> <laughs> this is where she was singing. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> and exactly, I was going to say that the, uh, uh, last time it was a surprise that you start singing and saying, well, the, uh, we are family, as a sort of, oh, I wish we had thought about it. It's such a great thing that, uh, yes. that the student uh, uh, does it, and we didn't even force her. 
Can That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so no, what I like very much is that we have this big group of students and then I uh, start by asking where everybody is from. Uh, and I also ask who ha how long did you have to travel? You also ask the question. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah somebody from the online audience asked yeah. that, yeah. And it's so fantastic to see in here where everybody's coming from and that they are all individually uh, making the decision to come to Hansa, to leave their comfort zone and to decide to come to study at Hanze and make this university an even nicer one because we have so many students from abroad. Yeah, exactly. Um, could you share now uh, an interesting episode from your work at Hanze? Is it a difficult <laughs> question? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can say there are so many interesting episodes and I have to make, make choices. Well, a, a nice thing is I was just cycling uh, down from uh, the, the dance academy okay. uh, because the interesting thing about Hansa is that it's very broad. We have laboratory studies, life sciences, we yeah. have the dance academy. Yeah. We, we, uh, you had a student from NERVA, you have, we have students from the economical field, yeah. you name it and we, and we, we have, have it. it. Yeah. And just uh, 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 this afternoon I was spending time with a student from the dance academy, which is so totally different than other parts of the Hanze. Yeah. And that's the most fascinating, that it's so completely different. And the nice thing is that uh, uh, sometimes these worlds, they come together and uh, that, that's, that's where the magic happens. Yeah, that's amazing. And of course, you're talking about diversity. Uh, we have so many international students here. Hanze, we count more than 80 different countries. Uh, more than 100, actually. Yes, yeah. more than 100, okay. Yeah. So in your perspective, why do you think international students are so important to the higher education of Hanze University? Um, I think that if you ask a question, why is internationalization impo uh, important, it assumes that there is an alternative. I think that if you look at the world today, uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a globalized uh, world. So of there is course, not yeah. a profession. Uh, if, if your job is uh, just national, then you might want to look for another job, which, because I think that the most important and most interesting jobs, they are international. So in order to be well prepared for the labor market, for society, it's very good that you, that you use your student time, your study time, in order to go abroad, to experience international context, to work together with people from other cultures, to and leave your comfort you said, zone. Leave the comfort zone, exactly. Absolutely, yeah. That's very important. And I think it's something that also us yeah, students, we can agree on that. It's, yeah. defi it's very important too. So I would say it's beyond uh, uh, fun. It's, it's absolutely fun. Yeah, I <laughs> trust me, yeah? <laughs> it's yeah? fun. <laughs> But it's beyond fun, so it's fun, yes, and it's also, I it think, a necessary values. and a wonderful preparation for life, for labor market, what have you. Absolutely. Well, I have one last question for you. So, so far, your yeah, grade yeah. is around six, seven. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I told you guys I'm a strict uh, teacher, so what advice would you give to prospective students who are watching us right now? Well, the advice is, Maybe already that those students who are now watching are already taking that advice and that is to be well informed about what true. it all takes to, to go abroad. Absolutely we, true. We do understand that it's a lot of work, a lot of paperwork, a lot of you know, barriers you have to overcome. Uh, so the best advice would be to inform yourself and to see if you can get maybe also advice from students who already did it and can give you the, the right advice. Will that give me a seven something? You know what? <laughs> 10 plus. Oh. Applause! Oh. <laughs> well, we're done, Rob. Thank you so much. We know you have another commitment, and we're sorry you can stay a little longer, but can we please give a warm applause to Rob? Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, 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 interviews are over. It's time to have some more fun. It's time to play a game, Never Have I Ever. Please, I want to invite my other two guests, Kevin and Kate, to join the stage. <laughs> uh. Okay, um, okay, okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna play the game, Never Have I Ever, Ooh. student edition, so wow. <laughs> let's calm down here. <laughs> okay, 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 we so can we please? Yes. So you all know how this works, eh? Yeah. No. Perfect. Kevin, <laughs> you, you're going to have to watch and see how it works. <laughs> I, I don't have time for that. It's a one-hour show. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we should do it. So are we ready for this or are you nervous? I am nervous. No, it can I'm get nervous. emotional, I'm saying. This is why I was nervous about it. This is <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question. So never have I ever failed an exam. 
I think everyone have. I have it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Okay. <laughs> oh, Do you was... have an interesting story about it, or uh, uh, you just didn't study and failed, basically? I missed only zero point one point. Oh, oh. that's the worst. Yeah, I got yeah, that exactly. one as well. I yeah. Think yeah. <laughs> when 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 you receive five point four and the pass is five point five, <laughs> and you really studied. Okay. That's a struggle. Not that much. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah, it's definitely nine. a struggle. Yeah. yeah. Um, second question: Never have I ever been lost while looking for the classroom. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Me? Okay, I want I want a good story. So Kevin, give me the good story. You know that Hansa actually the building's actually built as a maze. The <laughs> <laughs> the on purpose. On purpose. The so architecture true. actually built the school as a maze. I don't know why. Nobody knows why. No, yeah, nobody knows. knows. Why. Nobody can find their architect, you know how by the way. Times I can get, because I give tours to, you know, also yeah, I, give I, tours. I, I give tours yeah. to like the thing, yeah. like you, you've seen it, right? It's kind of confusing. Exactly. You have to, sure. They always have to stay with me because if they don't, they'll get lost. I mean, like after, if they get lost after two weeks, you'll see them again. I mean, like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, oh my God, after so long. And the teacher, like you, you try to explain the teacher, I really got lost. And they're like, yeah, right. You got yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah, I got lost. With the, no, there's some, sometimes that happens. When you sometimes get, they get lost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Classroom. Even the teacher would be like, "Oh, sorry, I got lost." We're like, "Oh yeah, we understand. We have we've been there before." Yeah. yeah. So, third question: uh, Never have I ever forgotten to save a work document and lost everything. Oh, so many times. Guys, oh give me this. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Did the have worst. It like, I'm still crying for that time. First year student. I'm third year student now. I'm still crying. I still do that, uh, unfortunately. But I don't know how that really happened. You know, I was working for uh, for marketing and communication and uh, uh, last year, and of course I had uh, lots of things going on. God. And uh, yeah, for some reason I didn't save like three documents, very important documents. And I go to the ICT center, you know, the IT yeah, center. Yeah, crying guys. for help. We so have a desk that guys, helps so students whenever you. you know? It's like I cannot do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I can. there's no way. Yeah, the, literally. And word then you know no you can. Yeah. And then you think I've learned a lesson, but then like the week later, say <laughs> <it's laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> Are you okay? That only happens to you, Lara. Sorry. Literally, this only happened to me. Okay, so never have I ever got a grade lower than four, so a very bad grade. Oh. Recently. Okay. Sabrina, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina, come on. Oh. I have. Look at her. <laughs> oh, you you're so stupid. Look at it all. Miss Know It All. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then what's the lowest? 5.4. Four, 5.4, 4, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Good one. What a nice student. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're all good students here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so never have I ever submitted the wrong assignment version of. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> never have I ever submitted the wrong version of an assignment on Blackboard. Mm. I have as well. <laughs> Literally, yeah. my teacher emailed me, Laura, what is this? And it was like, <laughs> I don't know, a recipe from a grandmother. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry, what do you mean? Like, not like, she kept the recipe, by the way, just saying. <laughs> but yeah, that happened. It's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Do you know when you create a document and call it final, final two Final of the final of the final of the final. final. <laughs> I don't, get, don't get me sorry with designers. Every time when a client wants something, it's a final, 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 <laughs> final. Final capital, fi final, <laughs> small capital. Yeah, it's a struggle, but we love being students. Yeah. Yeah. Never, <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> Never have I ever, okay. Never have I ever been stopped for cycling without lights. Yeah. I'm praying for to that. To all the <laughs> online <laughs> audience, you're not from the Netherlands, they should know that oh, the struggle nobody, is real. Nobody? Police, I, I, I'm the only one? Uh, it I'm never happened to me as well, but it happened to a friend of mine. Also. Okay. The fines are quite Police big. Police stopped you if you are win without lights, because of course it's very important. Yeah. It's for safety. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter that they run on a bike 50 kilometers per hour, <laughs> yeah. but the lights are very important. I mean, so Groningen uh, has the most uh, you know, incredible numbers of bicycles in the world. Yeah. Like, in the world. In the flipping yeah. world. So it's very important to have lights. 
Yeah. yeah. But a good tip is like uh, people in Cronin they do tell you like I, I got stopped because I didn't listen to the guy when he was saying stop. <laughs> <laughs> what is there? I was just cycling. But Cronin people. But so people, they they find, you got to find as well, huh? Well, I, well, I gotta. I, I, I can't say that in public right now. Well, but it was <laughs> like, you, you get a fine. But so can you can I say again who got stopped? The three of you. Yep. I got stopped. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I didn't. You Never haven't? I was, I was surprised. <laughs> I was like, hello? I'm the only one that got stopped. And the I, only one? Yeah. Not I, surprised. I, what the? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Last question. Let's not get emotional. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever been homesick. Um, Stop, Kevin. <laughs> Come on. I have. Never? Okay. Actually, have, have or okay, you have to decide because you're being it's like, hard. <laughs> it's hard to even okay, talk about. Just start with the one that have and never. I think in the first year, I I really miss my home quite a lot in the first months, but after that, because as I just mentioned so many times, Hansa become a huge a huge part of my yes. life, and also the colleagues, the teachers, and after that later on the work, I. I couldn't, I, I mean, I didn't miss that much, you know, my place in my Romania. Yeah. But I miss my family, of course. Yeah. But now Groningen become my, my, family. my family and my home. And I, all the time I'm telling my parents, yeah, I'm going back to, back to Groningen. That's my, my place home. now. That's yeah. my home now. Yeah. But I did, in the first year, I did, I did miss uh, Romania quite yeah. a lot. Like, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm from Italy. I'm Italian. And for all the cultures that are like mine, it's obviously very difficult to leave home. And I would like to give an advice to all the people that are from culture that are very, very attached to family. As Sabrina said, home is your home, it's fine. And once you're gonna get here, it's gonna get tough. Uh, you're gonna feel like there's no place like home. But yeah, as soon as you start meeting friends, meeting what Hanze, seeing what Hanze has to offer you, and really, this is not only about education. We have personal so many yeah. activities support mm -hmm. in here, mm -hmm. and so eventually, so Hanze events. and Kronian yeah. will become so your home and your family. So yeah. just be brave. It's all gonna be fine. And as Rob said. It's important to step out of the comfort zone. Being homesick is okay. It's, it's healthy. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. In the beginning, it's going to be like But that. It's you are yeah, going to be fine. So this was all for today's <laughs> show. I would like to thank you, all of my guests, all of the, my audience here in the studio, <laughs> my online audience. I would also like to remember you that uh, the WhatsApp live chat is still on and will, be still, on, will still be on. Mm -hmm. uh, please keep on ans asking any questions you, you have for us. Don't, uh, like, don't forget that we have the open days, the 2nd of March and the 5th of April here in Groningen. Please come visit us. And as a very last thing, I would like to thank everybody behind this talk show. I would like to thank the Hansa staff, the audio guys, the audience in here, the, my guests, and I would like to thank the executive board, everybody, and especially I would like to thank a person that is behind this idea. She's a student. Uh, she came from nothing and she pulled up this. Her name is Mikhaila Shugareva, and I would like to thank <laughs> Thank you very much and see you next time, I guess. Bye, guys! Yeah.